Welcome back to my retro gaming room in VR using MUVR Beta. Link is in the description below if you want to know more. This is basic tutorial part 3. How to add video and music. If you want to know how to add games, watch part 1. For customizing the look of your room, watch part 2. Links to both are down in the description. Let's start with three ways to watch movies and TV. Method one is watching a video file that's saved on your computer. Method two is watching a video that's on the internet using a direct link. And method three is watching a 24 seven stream on the internet also using a direct link. Method one, watching a video file that's saved on your computer. MUVR can play many types of video files. Check the video and music section in the wiki for a list of compatible formats. For this basic tutorial, I'm going to use an MP4 file. Using File Explorer, open your MUVR folder and then open the Games folder. Here you need to either create a new folder or use one of the leftover example folders. I'll just use one of the leftover example folders. Rename the folder video and then open it. Here you will place your video files for method 1 and your STR files for methods 2 and 3. Go ahead and place the mp4 file in the video folder. I'm using an mp4 of Popeye the Sailor Man. Go back to the MUVR folder and open the game scanner folder and open the scanner. Click Attempt Autofill, Autofill, and then OK. Then click Save Changes. And then finally click Scan Games for MUVR. The scanned games count should increase by 1, but I've had issues with it. Click OK, and then start up MUVR to see if you can now watch your video. As you can see, there's a generic console and a generic cartridge containing the MP4 that I added. And it plays just fine. Point at and take control of the TV or console and use your left thumbstick to skip forward or skip back. Method 2. Watching a video that's on the internet using a direct link. Instead of watching Popeye from a file that's saved on my hard drive, another option would be to use a direct link from the internet. Here's a direct link in my web browser to the same Popeye MP4 episode. Copy the entire address from the address bar. Note that the main part of this address ends with .mp4. That's what you want to see if you're looking for an mp4 direct link. Go back and open the MUVR folder, open games, and then open the video folder. Right click somewhere in the window and go to new and then select text document. Open the document using notepad and paste the copied address text inside. Now go to file, save as, and save it as whatever name you like, but it must end with .str. I'll name mine Popeye Direct Link .str. Click save and then close the document. Next to the text document, you'll see the new STR document you just created. Delete the new text document since it's no longer needed. If you plan on adding another direct link, do the same steps and make sure it creates another STR document. Now go back to the MUVR folder, open the scanner folder, and run the game scanner. 
click scan games for MUVR. This time you'll see the scan games count increase by one. Click OK, close the scanner, and then run MUVR to see if it worked. Now there are cartridges for the Popeye Direct Link as well as cartridges for the Popeye MP4 saved on my hard drive. And the Direct Link works. You can skip ahead and skip back when watching the video. Keep in mind that this method requires an internet connection and a direct link that currently works. It can sometimes be hit and miss when finding it a good link. Method 3. Watching a 24-7 video stream from the internet also using a direct link. This is one of the more difficult of the three methods, but it is doable. CBS News has a 24-7 news stream on their website that I'll be using for this tutorial. The direct link you're looking for needs to end with .m3u8. I'll show you the way I find this link. There may be easier ways to go about getting it, but this is the way I know. Uh, also, I'm using Firefox as my web browser, just so you know. While the live stream is playing, press F12 to inspect element. Click the network tab and then click the media tab on the right to sort some of the URLs. Find a URL that ends with M3U8. Right click on it and then select copy URL. Now go back and open the MUVR folder. Open games and then open video. Right click somewhere in the window and go to new and then select text document. Open the document using notepad and paste the copied URL text inside. Now go to File, Save As, and just like for method 2, save it as whatever you like, but it must end with .str. I'll name mine news.str. Click Save and then close the document. You'll see the new STR document you just created, so delete the blank text document if you want. Go to the game scanner and run a scan. And again you'll see the scan games count increase by one. Close the scanner and open MUVR to see if the news is on TV. Now there is a new cartridge called News available to play. Things, Jerika. First, you have the dire humanitarian situation. This particular direct link to a stream isn't very good. The audio is fine, but the video sucks. Some streams run better than others. I'm going to show you two methods to listen to music. Method one is adding MP3 audio files that are stored on your hard drive, and method two is adding a streaming radio station. Method one. Open the MUVR folder, open games, and create a new folder called Music. Place your MP3 in the Music folder. Go back to the MUVR folder, open Game Scanner folder, and then open the Game Scanner application. Click Attempt Autofill, Autofill, and then OK. Click Save Changes and then click Scan Games for MUVR. You should see another game added to the Scan Games count. Now close the scanner and open MUVR to take a look. Here's the MP3 called Laser Groove that I added. Nothing but gray on the TV screen, but the MP3 plays just fine. Method 2. Adding an online streaming radio station. There are a lot of streaming radio stations to choose from online. Here is a music office mix station I randomly found using Google. 
During the stream, press F12 to inspect element. Click Network tab and then click Media. What you're looking for is a .mp3 URL. If you don't see any, just try reloading the page or click Play, Stop, Play, Stop to see if a URL shows up below. When you see one, right click it and then select Copy URL. My method to find each of the direct links was discovered out of simple experimentation looking at the source code of each web page. If there's an easier way to acquire direct links, please leave it in the comments below. Now go to the MUVR folder, open Games, and then open Music. Right click somewhere in the window, go to New, and then select Text Document. Open the document using Notepad and then paste the MP3 URL text inside. Now go to File, Save As, and save it as whatever name you like, but make sure it ends with .str. I'll name mine onlineradio.str. Click Save and then close the document. You'll see the new str document you just created, so delete the blank text document if you want. Go to the game scanner and run a scan. And again you'll see the scanned games count should increase by 1. Close the scanner and open MUVR to listen to streaming radio. Now there should be a new cartridge called Online Radio available. If not, look in the item menu and spawn what you're looking for. And now you have streaming radio. I hope this three-part basic tutorial has helped you learn how to create an awesome retro gaming room. Please use the MUVR wiki to, as a go-to source on how all of this works. MUVR is still in beta, so some things may change as it's still being developed. I'll try to note any updates or major changes in the description below if it pertains to the information provided in each of these videos. Thanks for watching and have fun gaming!